On Capitol Hill with the January 6 Select Committee chair struck with COVID, Deputy Republican Liz Cheney took center stage on U.S. primetime. Donald Trump made a purposeful choice to violate his oath of office. He refused to defend our nation and our Constitution. The hearing in minute-by-minute minute detail laid out Donald Trump's movements on January 6. From telling supporters this at 1.10 p.m. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. To 4.17 p.m., where he told rioters to go home. Having ignored pleas to call off the attack from his children, friends and advisers for three hours and seven minutes. President Trump did not fail to act during the 187 minutes. He chose not to act. President Trump refused to act because of his selfish desire to stay in power. Arguing with the Secret Service and blocked from joining protesters, Donald Trump returned to the White House after his rally. For the next two and a half hours, he stayed in the presidential dining room, watching the insurrection unfold on Fox News. His phone logs his diary over those hours empty. The official White House photographer you, ordered Madam not Vice to Chair. take any pictures. The president did not call the vice president or anyone in the military, federal law enforcement or D.C. government. Not a single person. As violence escalated, GOP pressure mounted. Clear there need to be an immediate and forceful response. Testifying before the committee, Matthew Pottinger, former Deputy National Security Advisor and former Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Matthews. Both resigned on January 6. Mr Pottinger incensed by the President's tweet that said Mike Pence didn't have courage as chance to hang the Vice President rang. I read it and uh, was uh, quite disturbed by it. It looked like fuel being poured on the fire. So that was the moment that I decided uh, that I was going to resign. The panel shown video of Mike Pence's staff trying to rush him to safety and hearing from an anonymous White House official. There were calls to um, say goodbye to family members, so on and so forth. It was getting, for, for whatever the reason was on the ground, the VP detail thought that this was about to get very ugly. President Trump finally went out to the Rose Garden at 4.03 p.m. Can you tell me when? When you're ready, sir. I know your pain. I know you're hurt. We had a election, let me say. But refused to stick to the script. We had an election that was stolen from us. We love you. You're very special. To me, his refusal to act and call off the mob that day and his refusal to condemn the violence was indefensible. And so I knew that I would be resigning that evening. You can't say that. Never before seen outtakes also shown of this speech from January 7, meant to condemn the chaos the day before. This election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over, OK? The first round of public hearings now closed, but the probe not, not yet over. Do. With more well, evidence and witnesses, the panel returns in September. And the dam has begun to break. Omer